I'm James from Tabletop Dungeon and in this week's 20 Minute Terrain I want to share a really cheap and simple way of making snow for scenery effects. In last week's video I showed you how to build some wasteland barriers, corrugated iron walls, that sort of thing, and I mentioned adding some snow effects to fit in with my space walls, but I didn't really go into detail there, so that's what I'm going to do this week. So this recipe is great for small amounts of snow effects, but I wouldn't recommend it to cover larger terrain pieces. Larger areas will crack too much, and this tends to not have a lot of puff to it. It ends up being quite flat and powdery. Well, you can see in the video what it ends up as, but for a bit of snow effect on walls or bases and such, I think it works really well. So as I said, really simple. Mix equal parts PVA glue and white poster paint, both of which are dirt cheap. This was just over one pound from the local Trago for half a litre or whatever of white paint. And the PVA was maybe 20 quid from Wix. I can't even remember. I've had the same tub for years now. It'll practically last forever. Finally, you need a shaker with some sort of bicarbonate of soda in it. I haven't tried baking powder, but I should imagine it works exactly the same way. So mix up the paint and PVA well. You may find it aerates quite a lot. That's fine. Adds a bit of texture. Dab that on where you want the effect, then just sprinkle the bicarbonate on and blow it off and wait. The PVA will cause it to contract somewhat when it dries, which is why it's not good for larger areas. But I think the results speak for themselves and you don't then need to afterwards fix it down with another layer of watered down PVA. That's not necessary with this recipe I've found. I've also heard of recipes where you actually mix the bicarbonate of soda into the PVA and white paint mix first to give it a more fluffy substance, but that doesn't really seem necessary here. This uses the least amount of materials possible, really, and still gives a good effect, and it's certainly cheaper than buying four pound pots of Games Workshop technical paints or Woodland Scenics powders. So there you go, quick and easy snow effects. Hit like if you appreciate this video and consider subscribing for more weekly terrain tutorials, board game reviews, and possibly a battle report or two. Until next time.